Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? I just want to do another video today, uh, really quickly, about the five reasons, in my personal opinion, and experience, and whatnot, uh, what I believe people may fail in publishing. Okay, generally speaking, this is just five reasons. These are not just all the reasons, but these are five uh, potential reasons. I would say. Um, are important so i hope these are lessons that are helpful for those of you who are aspiring authors and publishers in all genres and uh, and go from there and move forward in a positive way one second so i think uh the first one is the lack of quality okay lack of quality in terms of not just the book but all aspects of the book in terms of the niche the topic the cover the content, the etc. Okay, just generally speaking, you want to make it, including maybe if you do nonfiction, maybe it has to be a little bit longer, maybe um, you know than than shorter. Generally speaking, everything counts uh, these days. Every author publisher is getting better and better. Okay, so um. And I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm, I'm I'm being honest, okay? But I have seen that. So normally people tend to either quit, okay? And then say they failed. Although, in my opinion, if they persevered and they could have kept going, being consistent, they could have succeeded, okay? And the next thing is, and by the way, just because you fail once in the past doesn't mean you'll fail again because you could get back up and do it again. That's my uh, uh, story as an internet marketer. I failed. I gave up. But I said, I'm going to go for it again. And I went for it. And I was able to eventually succeed. Okay. And that's in terms of succeed, like make it a full-time income online for myself. Uh, next is lack of quantity. Okay. Lack of quantity in terms of uh, generally speaking in the publishing world, the more books you make, create, write, create, publish the more money you make, okay? So um, not saying that every person has to write 100 books, okay? Um, if you have a great talent for writing, maybe it'll require 50 books, you know, 30 books, 10 books. But try to maximize your, full, your potential in terms of how many books that you're capable of writing, creating, or publishing, okay? Um, if you could do 100, great. It may take you um, several years for the average Joe, average Jane, and that's fine. You know, what would I recommend? I'm a little bit more strict per se, but I'm also considering that not everyone's, uh, you know, a best selling author per se, okay? And it's very hard to do. So I would actually, if I could for the long run, recommend people to aim for 100 books. Especially if you're a publisher you're hiring other people to do the writing, and that'll be you know doable. One book a week, hire a person, or one book a month. One book a month is more realistic, budget wise as well. Okay, maybe two books a month, but one book a month is a uh, very realistic, I believe, uh, consistently. Um, that's just my pace. Uh, sometimes I do two. Sometimes I've done more, but uh, two to four sometimes. So next is uh, the another reason people fail is lack of advertising. Okay. Like I was saying, lack of quantity. They don't have enough books. They need to publish more books, generally speaking. Even if you're a type of person who's the writer who has only one or three, five books inside of them, write the five books in a series and do it. Don't keep talking about writing your first book. And then say it's industry doesn't work, right? Next is lack of advertising. I have noticed a lot of people, generally speaking, just look at any forums. I've seen some good forums out there. Uh, I won't mention any names because there's like a lot of different ones. And uh, that's how I want to keep it that way. Okay. But, uh, but lack of advertising. I've seen people who just say, oh, that platform doesn't work. Um, you know, Amazon ad doesn't work. 
So they just kind of like already like give up already. Just don't even do it just because someone else doesn't work. You know, they're like, oh, it didn't work for you. So, uh, OK, I won't even try it. Right. I have an instance one time like I paid for solo ads back in the days and there was people who were like, oh, it didn't work for you. I, I was telling them, yeah, it didn't work. It was, oh, I'm not going to do it too then. No, maybe it could work for you, you know, but test it still, you know, the best way you can and learn if it didn't work. Try to figure out why it didn't work by watching other people's videos, lessons, getting their courses, uh, including my own. Check out my own training program as well where I teach thoroughly how to create ads, how to optimize ads, how to prune it, and uh, how to maximize with Amazon ads and so forth, okay? So lack of advertising. Um, fourth reason I would say is people, I have noticed when I read some of the comments in the YouTube space and whatnot can be pessimistic instead of optimistic, okay? They say like... Uh, you know, Kindle publishing is it doesn't work just because they weren't willing to fully adapt, per se, to the real, you know, the reality of the situation and go from there. Uh, and also, uh, last last uh, reason I would say uh, people fail is. So, so the lesson is you got to be optimistic. Okay. You got to say, I know it sounds basic, but aim to be optimistic a little bit more. Okay. Just like, um, there's some like things going on with Amazon ads. Don't completely shut it out and say, oh, it doesn't work. You know, it worked for other people. How did it work for them? What's their strategy or lessons? Even if you can learn just a little bit and pieces here and there. But also remember that's their results because that's their books are made different than yours and mine. So at the end of the day, you're creating your own strategy too, but learn from everyone and be optimistic to learn. Okay. Don't say, oh, it doesn't work. Quitting too early instead of persevering. Okay. Um, they asked, I think, uh, Steve Jobs one time, what's the most important key to success? And he says, if he boils down to it, one thing, if you can boil down to just one thing, some, it will be perseverance. That's what it is, you know? So that's why people quit. I've, I, you know, so persevere. Okay. That's, uh, that would be the lesson. Okay. So five reasons. Kindle publishing, um, people seem to, quote, fail or give up or quit with Kindle publishing, which can work for everyone. My biggest advice, a lesson would be quantity and quality of books together, especially I don't want to I don't want to say in a bad way. Quantity, though, you need a lot of books to make this a full time income. And I'll, I'll say it like this. The lesson for me was a transition from an author to a publisher role, you know, uh, per se. But not to say other because but I've also seen authors out there in real life who've done it full time. So I can't say that that's that's the only thing that's for me. I had to transition from author to publisher. OK, and that's how I was able to scale this business and have, have hundreds of books. But now I got the the funds to. You know, hire the writers to fund the project, okay? And go from there. Build a publishing business. So if you're interested, again, check out my online course. Click the link below the video. I teach all that stuff. I'm actually passionate about this, but I wanna, I'm want to. i always passionate about this inside of me because this is what I do. I enjoy what I do. And I think you can tell, you know, building my publishing business, my publishing brand, how I expert every day, you know? Um, so I, I'm willing to teach, okay, for those of you who want to learn, whether you want to be an author or a publisher, fiction, nonfiction, low content, no content, uh, it all applies together, these lessons, okay? These lessons all apply together, 
All right. So thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you. Click the link below the video. Check out my training. It's a free email newsletter in the beginning, okay? But for those of you who want to learn more, check out my online course training membership site, okay? Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you on the inside for the those of you guys who join. Talk soon. Take care. Bye. See you.